hey guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> welcome to week two of fasting with fanta um i just finished editing my first week video which will be up tonight by the time you guys see this it'll be a week later but i just finished doing that i know i look so drained i don't look that enthused for this video um and that's just because I am. I have the worst migraine right now. Usually my migraines start around like 7 o'clock. It's more like about to be close to 6.30. And my headache is, is really, really, it's really, really paining me right now. Um, yesterday was another day where I couldn't, I didn't really eat. Well, I did eat. I ate a lot yesterday. Um, but I didn't eat like around that 3 o'clock hour. Which usually I'm starting to realize really does help me. Um, and then also the night of day six I didn't eat that well so day seven was a lot on my body so then day seven the night of day seven I was really like trying to eat as much as I can today is day eight I didn't really eat around like that three o'clock window so I just my body's just going through and my head is killing me so today I just want to nourish myself as much as possible as soon as I can break fast I am taking an excedrin like it's killing me killing me um, but yeah, I just finished editing one video. I have to edit another video tomorrow, but after I leave my photo shoot tomorrow. Um, this photo shoot is not going to be as intense as the other ones because this one I don't get fed. Um, so I'm not going to really be around food. I'm just going to be working and just focusing on working. So it's going to help time pass by. And by the time I get off of that photo, by the time I get out of that photo shoot and make it home, it'll only be a couple of hours until we break fast. And also, I want to work on me making sure that I focus on the camera and I look up at the sky. I do that a lot, even when I'm talking to people in person. I don't really look in their eyes. I don't really look straight on. I look everywhere else but where I'm talking. So, I definitely want to work on that. But, that's that's all that there is. Day 8 is, it was good up until it hit like 6 o'clock. Now, like, I'm like going crazy, okay? Ugh. Um... I hope that you guys are still going strong. You guys have not missed a day of fasting unless you absolutely had to. Um, you guys are being kind. You're helping others. And you are really taking in the month of Ramadan for what it is supposed to be. Um, and yeah, that's all that there is. I'm going to go lay down. I can't. But it is day nine. I am on my way to my photo shoots. Um, running a little behind time because traffic is not moving at a standstill um but yeah yesterday that headache that i had killed me like it was intense i'm gonna be there until about four o'clock so by the time i get out it'll be time for me to break fast i just wanted to hop on here real quick to just let you guys you know see me before i head there because then by the time i get out it'll be like a couple of hours before i break fast um my clothes that i ordered for the ramadan lookbook has are on their way today to my house so i'm super excited i'll be able to record that video um hopefully the looks are things that you guys like um but yeah that's really all that there is to say it's not much that i have to say today well right now um but yeah let's just hope that i don't get like too lightheaded because <laughs> all those lights and stuff it really does make you lightheaded um but yeah that's all there is to say and i'll see you guys a little later i'll probably hop on here after the shoot just to give you guys an update of how i'm feeling but that's about it Bye. okay guys so it is the end of day nine um i just finished cooking just finished yeah just finished cooking literally when i got out of the photo shoot i came straight home i was in traffic for like an hour it takes me 15 minutes to get to that place and it took me an hour to get back home so i was in traffic for like an hour so that set me back an hour that i wanted to use to make up for the praise that i missed um but i had to dive straight into cooking or else we wouldn't have no food to eat so I did that now i am about to wash this face off break my fast and then eat well then and then pray um, I don't have a headache today, so I am very, very happy. The headache that I usually get at 7 o'clock, it missed me today, and I'm very happy. Hopefully, it stays this way. I feel like my body is getting accustomed to it, even though I do feel kind of like a tightness in my stomach. 
but I still feel like my stomach is getting and my body is getting accustomed to this so I am grateful but yeah that's all there there is for day nine and I'll see you guys on day 10 wow that passed by so quick like it's about to be day 10 already which is crazy but hey guys welcome back to day 11 of Ramadan I skipped day 10 because day 10 was pretty regular um I feel like I don't want to continue on doing the same exact things over and over again and saying the same exact things over and over again um so yeah I'm going to go shopping really quickly like food shopping um I'm going to take you guys with me I'm going to try to be more confident when I'm outside and I'm recording myself I don't know I just feel so weird especially if I'm by myself recording myself I feel like such a narcissist and then everybody's always staring at you because you know like people are just nosy and then it just makes me feel uncomfortable but I'm just gonna bring you guys with me um while I'm going there but when I'm there I'm not gonna record because I'm gonna be way too busy and I just don't have the time like I'm not gonna try to record and then shop I can't do that so yeah I'll see you guys in a few well to update you guys on day 10 day 10 was pretty good same thing as usual um, actually I didn't even have a headache I had like a little like slight headache but I didn't even have to take any medicine for it like sleep made it like go away um, I didn't feel anything crazy I wasn't hungry early I was actually I'm lying I was a little hungry around like four like I was kind of hungry but um after i prayed i started cooking and then like when you're cooking and you're right in front of and you're like actually cooking and smelling all that food i feel like it kind of fills you up i don't know if it's just me um but it's just like it kind of like takes away the hunger like like you're still hungry but you're not as hungry and then when it's time for you to eat you can't eat as much as you usually would so yeah that was day 10 um I think that's just what I'm gonna do I'm gonna like start skipping in between the days instead of like doing every single day um, so today's day 11 I'll come back on here on day 13 which will be Saturday um, and then I'll do like a final one on Sunday because that's the day that I'll be uploading this one so yeah I'll see you guys in a few Whew. hey guys um, today is day 13 I have been horrible with keeping up with these vlogs. Um, day 12 was the same as day 10. It was good. It wasn't hard for me. I feel like the days are just getting easier. I know that there are going to be days when I have like, you know, it's much harder for me to fast than others. Um, last night I wasn't able to sleep. That's the one thing that has been staying consistent is that my sleeping schedule is really, really bad now. I can't sleep at all when I wake up at that three o'clock hour for me to fall back asleep I don't fall back asleep until like six seven o'clock like the birds are chirping the sun is coming up I really don't sleep and then I wake up again at like nine ten o'clock but other than that the hunger I don't really have that that hunger headache that I usually have that I usually had in the beginning of week one I don't have that um as often I have like a I didn't sleep headache right now but it's not intense so I'm fine with that um, but yeah, day 11 and day 12 was really, really fine, really good. Um, I didn't have any struggles or anything, but I wanted to, what I wanted to talk to you guys about on day 11 was the habits that I'm trying to get rid of or trying to work on in Ramadan. I just feel like Ramadan is a month where you are able to change certain habits. You know, they take, they say it takes 30 days to change a habit, um, or to learn a new habit. So... For me, the main thing that I want to work on this month is my anger. I anger very, very easily. Um, <laughs> may not seem like it. I try to be very bubbly, but I have triggers. And when those triggers are pushed, honey, listen. But I feel like that's the one thing that I definitely want to work on. I want to work on not letting people's words um, have the best of my emotions. Um, you really don't have control over your life or your emotions if people's words can affect you that bad um, and like get you out of character. So that's the one thing that I want to work on. I want to work on just breathing and understanding that not everything needs a reaction even though I have learned that a lot okay and I have grown a lot when it comes to my anger and controlling it but like I said I have triggers and a lot of times those triggers are hit by people 
and a lot of times they're not even aware of it but it just like ticks me off um but I do bite my tongue as much as possible but with that also goes with my tone I find that a lot of times like <clears throat> if I'm having a conversation with somebody my tone can come off like very angry or very like you know it can come off very like you know and I don't want to be like that I don't want to make people feel a certain type of way a lot of times even if I'm joking people will think that I am angry or something just because of my tone like I naturally have a very feisty tone and a feistiness about myself um, which I don't want to change because that's who I am but at the same time I don't want to go around like making people feel uncomfortable or feel like they can't talk to me because I come off a certain way like I say that it goes hand in hand with my anger because when I get angry like I just like whatever comes out of my mouth is just like boop and like I can't control it and then I think back on it like dang fancy you didn't have to say that like you know what I mean and I feel so bad and then like I just feel like such a shitty person and sometimes I even like seclude myself from the person because I feel so bad and it's like I can't even say sorry because what I said was like crazy like sorry is not going to take that back so just being aware of what I say how I say it and how I'm delivering the message um even when I'm not angry it happens sometimes um another thing is procrastination i want to get rid of my procrastination so bad okay procrastination and laziness they kind of go hand in hand it's crazy because i'm a really really hard worker and i'm somebody if i'm not working i feel like i'm not doing anything with my life but for the past two years since i stopped working in retail and stopped like having and working in corporate and having like a nine to five I have just gotten so comfortable with my schedule with just like you know probably working twice three times a week and then like the rest of the time just having it to myself um I've gotten so comfortable with that to the point where like I would like I can use that free time to do YouTube um but I didn't because I was just like I don't feel like doing it but I just want to be more productive in all the days that I have so I don't want to put anything off on to like oh I'll do it tomorrow I'll do this tomorrow I'll do that tomorrow because that's when you'll just turn up like turn out never doing it I also want to break out of that and like get back into being myself doing things that I like to do going out more um I really want to like go to like museums and stuff this this summer I told myself that I want to do like a food tour I'll probably do like a vlog series or something um this summer i want to do a food tour of like different restaurants that i've never been to in nyc and like just try new things out um so yeah i love food so i definitely feel like that's gonna be fun and i'll probably like start vlogging those too um but yeah i think those are the only only habits that i have or traits that i have about myself that i really want to change so oh and also cursing like i want to like get that like out or like if I can't get it out <laughs> I want to bring it down like a couple of notches but it's pretty high there it's pretty high up there I know you guys don't see it on YouTube but in my day-to-day -day life I'm like a sailor okay so it's bad but I'm trying to work on that just try to elaborate what I'm trying to say in a different way but I know that it's gonna be hard for me because I've been trying to do that for like the past three four years and I always end up in the same place but those are my habits that I'm trying to get rid of um, during the month of Ramadan I would like you guys to leave a couple of habits that you want to get rid of if you are fasting and participating in Ramadan I would like you to jot down some habits that you want to get rid of and even if you aren't fasting it takes 30 days to learn a new habit or quit a habit so if you want to get rid of some habits just jot it down I feel like when you write things down and you see it and it's out there like you'll work that much harder to it um, you can write it down in your notebook as well I always do that post it like somewhere on your mirror or some sort or that way you always see it always a daily reminder that you're going to change and that's the thing that you're working on so that way when you before you walk outside <clears throat> into the world and interacting with people you have that in your mind like okay this is what I'm working on today you may forget in the middle of the day but at least you're trying so yeah that's all that there is and that's really what I wanted to talk to you guys about on day 11 was those habits um, I'll probably hop back on here I'm about to go do some hair but I'll probably hop back on here when I get back home if not I'll see you guys on day 14 which will be tomorrow and this video will be up tomorrow so bye so today is Sunday May 19 
which would be day 14 of Ramadan. Today I've been having like on and off headaches. I had a headache this morning and I went like showered and went away for a couple of hours and it just returned again. My main difficulty has just been sleeping at night. Um, I find that when I wake up to eat, I can't go back to sleep. This morning, I didn't go back to sleep until like, I'm sorry, I'm just in a lot of pain right now. But um, this morning, I didn't go back to sleep until like seven o'clock in the morning. I woke back up at like 10, I just couldn't go back to sleep. Um, I'm gonna try to keep myself up, up until the time that it's time to eat and then try to go to sleep after that um i just have like a really really bad migraine and i just need to take pain medicine so bad it is 7 38 so i have a couple of minutes like about 25 minutes or so until i can eat i know that i said that these videos will be up on sunday but this week is going up on monday again because this migraine like i can't work through it I'm trying, but I can't work through it. Like, I really can't. Um, whew. But yeah, that's all it is. Week two, another success. A troubling ending. A rough ending, but another success. Um, I have hella fucking lip balm. Oh my god, I keep cursing. I have hella lip balm all over my lip, but I need to keep my lips moisturized because I'm not drinking water, so I'm really dehydrated. Some days are better than others. Oh my god. Some days are better than others. I'm finding today's one of those days where it's not so great. Oh my god. But yeah, let's see how week three goes. Oh my god, I'm dying. But let's see how week three goes. Oh, and then the successful week four final finale of Fast and Fanta. I'm out because my head is killing me right now and I can't take this pain. <laughs>